Hello and welcome back to AJM Learn. So today I want to talk about a really cool thing I figured out is I had a client who needed to require email sign up for someone to access her site. And so kind of figure out a workaround. You do have to use the built-in promotional pop-up for this. You can't use it otherwise, uh, but it's a pretty cool trick. So I'll go ahead and dive in. Let's get rid of my face. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to use my post as in my own guide. Um, Okay, so step one is you need to activate the pop-up. So go to marketing, go to promotional pop-up. Don't, if your site's not live, then you could totally go ahead and toggle on display, display pop-up. I save that as the last step just because I don't want, you know, a non-fully functioning uh, pop-up on my live site. Um, but first option is go to change layout. Here, I think you have like nine options. So doesn't matter which one you choose. Choose whatever you want, whatever you like. Totally doesn't matter. Totally preference. Um, next, and this is all really detailed in the post, go to action. You do want to keep it on sign up for a newsletter button. So you can say, decide what you want the button to say, what you want the disclaimer to say, what you want that email. You could change what this placeholder says. Storage, um, this is going to be auto set to Squarespace email campaigns. If that's not what you're using, click select another, uh, connect another service or whatever it said. Um, you can choose MailChimp or Google Drive. Uh, this is just when someone signs up. We, of course, need a place for that email to go if you're collecting an email list. So this is where that goes. Um, verification, I'm not going to dive into this here. I tend to not really use this, but you can get these Google reCAPTCHA codes um, and put our keys and put them in here just to, you know, help with bots maybe a little. I tend to skip this step. I don't find it to be too much of a problem. Um, and then your post submit. This is super important. So what you need to do is there will be a piece of code here that you need to put in the post submit. Um, one thing I like to note, so it's in here, you need to put your full URL. So this is typically your homepage. So, you know, they're landing on your homepage. Ideally, the pop-up comes up, they have to sign up. And then basically we're auto redirecting them because otherwise they would fill out this pop-up and it would just say thank you and they would just be like stuck. So we're auto redirecting them back to where we want them to be, which is probably the homepage. So you would put that URL here, just where the URL here is. Now I did put a note here. Sometimes it's kind of weird. Sometimes when you paste this into this box, it auto reloads the page. Let's see if it happens. It didn't. Sometimes it makes this page load. So what I like to do is just put the URL like in notes or somewhere else. I'll actually complete this and then paste it in. But luckily it didn't happen. So this is, I'm rebuilding my main site. So this is just a trial site for now. So let me put in that. So that should be good. You want to put in your full URL, click save. Oh, of course, it needs me to connect my storage option. Let me, sorry, go back and do that. It definitely like won't let you move on from one thing if one thing's not complete. So I'll just do this for now. There we go. Okay, go back. Um, next, your content. So this is what it says. You can change what the pop-up says. Um, display and timing. Um, you definitely want it to be on any first page unless for some reason you wanted it to be a sign up for certain pages. That's actually totally possible too. I've only done this really for any first page, but you could definitely require it for single pages. So that's an option. Um, but let's say you want to do any first page. I personally end up doing for this on a timer and I do immediately. So again, in my application of a, my client, they wanted they do not want anyone to be able to browse the site without signing up at all. But if you wanted to maybe like incentivize someone, you could give them 30 seconds and then be like, okay, now you can't go any further. It's kind of how like news sites do it. They give you like 10 seconds to start reading and then they pop up. So that's totally your call. Frequency, you don't want it to, oops, you don't want it to pop up. So after they've signed up, click never and make sure to keep both of these clicked. So you would save that. Um, and then style, annoyingly, this does not auto populate with your site styles. I think it's really crazy. I don't know why. So you need to come in and like customize your colors, your fonts, all of that here based on your branding. Um, okay. So once that's done at this point, the pop-up, we don't have it turned on yet, but the pop-up is technically working, but someone could simply just click the X or click out of the pop-up and not give their email. So at this point, we need to put in a bit of CSS, which is here. 
So um, go to design, custom CSS. Let me just enter down anything else I have in here. Paste it. Click save. And then the last step is you just need to navigate back now that all the pieces are in place and it should be functioning appropriately. Go back into marketing, promotional pop-up, turn it on here, click save. So next is testing. So I'm going to go to my site. I tend to do this in an incognito window, um, but let's see if it Let's see if it works appropriately here. No, of course not, because I'm locked in. Um, I'm not saving, uh, sorry, I'm not sharing my se separate window, unfortunately. But at this phase, you would need to go into an incognito window, um, type it in, you know, get to your site, and just test and make sure it works. So I put this in the post as well, but you are looking for, um, of course, that the pop-up appears when you've set it to, um, that you cannot click out of the pop-ups. You shouldn't be able to click the X. By the way, side note, in style settings, I tend to try to make the X um, invisible. So I'll make it the same color as this background. There is this box that's been happening that I haven't been able to figure out how to get rid of, but I do try to hide the X. But you're looking to not be able to click out of it anyway. So outside of the box, in the X, you want to fill in your email and then you should be auto redirected and be able to browse the site freely. And then you also want to check wherever your storage is and make sure the email you submitted did go to that storage area. Um, it's pretty foolproof, should work. Check your code and your CSS if not, um, and hope you enjoy it.